All right, folks, let's get real here. We're living in wild times. Between skyrocketing rents, groceries that cost more than a car payment, and politicians who are more out of touch than ever, it's no wonder Canadians are frustrated. But here's the thing, ranting on social media only gets us so far. If we want change, we need to show up, speak up, and vote like our future depends on it. Because spoiler alert, it does. Let's dive a bit deeper into the disconnect between the liberal NDP coalition's policies and the real struggles of Canadians. The Liberals keep telling us they're building a better Canada, but for who exactly? Because from where I'm standing, it sure doesn't feel like it's for the average Canadian. We're looking at housing prices that are so high, the only way most of us will own a home is if we inherit one. And even then, good luck affording the property taxes. Rent has more than doubled in many cities, and let's not even talk about grocery bills. When did buying a bag of apples become a luxury? They love to brag about their investments in affordable housing, but it's like they've never stepped foot in the real world. Where are these affordable homes? Not in my neighborhood, and probably not in yours either. And what about jobs? They promised better jobs, but all we're seeing are part-time gigs and contract work with zero stability. Meanwhile, they're busy patting themselves on the back for their climate plans that are doing nothing but drive up costs on literally everything. It's like they're solving problems that don't exist for people who don't need help, while the rest of us are just trying to keep our heads above water. The reality is, they're out of touch, and we're the ones paying the price. Now let's talk about spending, or should I say overspending. It's like Trudeau and Singh are in a competition to see who can blow through our money the fastest. And it is our money. All of these programs will be paid by our taxes. Soaring budget deficits have become tradition under the Liberals, and our national debt is so high it's become a national crisis. They're borrowing like there's no tomorrow, but guess what? There is a tomorrow, and we are the ones who'll be stuck paying for it. It's not just the numbers that are scary, and we know Justin and Christy are not good with math. It's the priorities. Instead of investing in things that actually help Canadians like infrastructure, healthcare, or job creation, they're throwing billions at pet projects that do nothing for the average person. Meanwhile, inflation is soaring, wages are stagnant, and they think the solution is more taxes. Because yeah, when you're struggling to make ends meet, what you really need is the government taking more of your paycheck, right? They're addicted to spending, and we're the ones dealing with the hangover. If they keep this up, Canada's financial future is going to look a lot like a maxed out credit card, and we all know how that ends. Next, let's get real about trust, or should I say, the lack of it. Because if there's one thing the Liberals and their NDP enablers have proven, it's that they can't be trusted to lead with integrity. Scandal after scandal, they've shown us that their priority is not the people, it's themselves. Remember the SNC-Lavalin affair? Trudeau tried to interfere in a criminal case to protect his buddies. Or the We Charity scandal, where millions of dollars meant for student grants got tangled up in a cozy relationship between the Liberals and an organization that just so happened to be linked to the PM's family. These aren't just minor slip-ups. They're clear signs of a government that's lost its moral compass. Let's not forget about transparency. Good luck getting a straight answer from these folks. They're more interested in dodging questions than in being upfront with Canadians. Whether it's hiding the true costs of their climate policies, downplaying the impacts of their immigration plans, or spinning the facts to suit their narrative, it's clear that honesty is in short supply. The result? Canadians have lost faith in their leaders, and who can blame them? Leadership should be about setting an example, not bending the rules to fit your agenda. If we can't trust our leaders to tell us the truth, how can we trust them to guide our country through the challenges we're facing? The short answer is, we can't. So where does all this leave us? At a crossroads for sure. We can keep letting the Liberals and their NDP comrades run the show, watching as they dig us deeper into debt, push policies that don't work, and erode the trust we had in our institutions and the media. Or we can choose a different path, one that's rooted in common sense, fiscal responsibility, and a commitment to making Canada work for all Canadians. Under Pierre Polyev, the Conservative Party is offering a real alternative. We're talking about a government that's focused on what matters, getting our economy back on track 
managing our resources wisely, and ensuring that every Canadian has the opportunity to thrive. It's about smaller government, less bureaucracy, and more freedom for you to live your life without constant interference and indoctrination. And let's be very clear, this isn't about completely shutting the door on immigration or ignoring global challenges. It's about putting Canada first, making sure we're strong and resilient so we can face whatever comes our way. It's time to step up, vote, and spread the word. Our future depends on it. Thanks for your time and watching this video to the end. I hope some of this resonated with you. Please share your thoughts on these topics in the comments section below and subscribe for more content like this.